Hey everyone, Daniel from Twin Bytes with another tutorial for you. This time I'm going to show you how to change the default font in Microsoft Outlook. It might be too small or boring or whatever the reason is that you don't want to have to manually keep changing the font because you just don't like the way it is. I'm going to show you how to change the defaults in this video. First off, you might want to check out your zoom level because you might be having an issue where maybe it's too small or too big and the person receiving it, it looks fine, but for you it's different. So if you are in a new message, you can go over to format text and on the far right there's zoom. Here you might want to make sure that it's at 100% unless you really do want it to be larger or smaller. But let's change the default font. We'll get out of our new message. Over in the top left, we have file and down to options. When this window comes up, go over to mail and then in the middle of the screen over on the right side, you'll see stationary and fonts. We'll click on that and this is where we have options to change for new messages or replies and forwards can be a different look than what new messages would have. And then there's also another separate setting for plain text messages. So you would have to go into each one if you want it to change all of them. And there's no way of just copying and having them all the same automatically. You'd have to go into each one. So we'll look at one of them here and it'll be the same procedure for all three. So we'll click on font. You'll have the window come up here and this should be pretty straightforward at this point. We can go in here and change this to whatever we want and change the bold italics. You can change the font size, the color, underline style if you want, and the underline color, and you can have all this stuff on, whatever you want. So we'll hit OK, and you can already see the sample text right there. So we'll just OK and OK, and we'll create a new message. And we've got our new default text with the size, color, bold, italic, and underline. We have it all turned on. So you can always change this manually just like you would for anything else if you wanted to. But if you wanted to have this every single time and you don't want to have to change it each time, then you now know how you can set your default font. That's all there is to changing that. And if you found this video helpful, please do give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.